Well, hi everybody, and welcome to um, a very special Kings of Anger little video podcast here. And um, well, I'm I'm joined by a, a former Ipswich Town star and Manchester City star, Swindon player, and um, a guy who played a lot of professional football. But it's not it's it's not what we're talking about today with professional football. Well, it is professional football, but it's the FA Cup. And uh, this guy has led Needham Market, um, our step three Suffolk side here, one of our top sides here in Suffolk at non-league level, Needham Market to the FA Cup first round. And they've got a tie at Burton on Saturday, League One Burton. Um, well, it, it's Kevin Horlock. Kevin, absolutely fantastic to see you. Uh, we have been trying to sort of fit in some time because you've been so busy. It's been what a hectic week for, for a club like Needham Market. What a fantastic what a fantastic build-up. Yeah, it's been crazy. Um, we've had TV, radio, podcasts, all, all in a bit of the football club, all in a bit of the players. Um, so it's nice. It's nice. And um, the day's not too far away now. We're, we're really looking forward to it. It's, it's an unbelievable achievement from the lads. It's creating history. We've never been there before, this football club. So they did it last year in the trophy. Um, and you, you get greedy and want more success like that. But to get it in the FA Cup is really, really special. So um, we've got a good day out at Burton. We're, we're going to enjoy it. Um, we'll have to be at our best. Hopefully they have an off day. We get loads of luck. And you just never know, do you, in the FA Cup? No, you absolutely, you absolutely don't, Kevin. I mean, the FA Cup still has... You know, I, I think about... I mean, you've played in the FA Cup, obviously, a lot. But, I mean, go back a decade, 12 years, it was starting to be talked about as though it uh, wasn't that significant, really. But it's flipped, hasn't it? It's, it's, it's become... Really, the magic has returned over the last half dozen, eight years. Do you feel it? You must feel it there today. Yeah, I, I think it's always been special for me. I think growing up, watching the FA Cup final, um, the teams getting on the bus to the to, to the stadium and all that j jazz that goes with it, um, that's still there for me and it always has been. It's massively important, you know, for non-league clubs as well um, to generate a little bit of cash as well from prize money, which is nice as well. And just getting a little bit of exposure for, for me, it's massive for us because I want our young players to be exposed to games like this. To, I, I truly believe that a lot of my younger players will play at a, a really good level in league football. So it's a good gauge of where we're at and what it looks like for them. So I'm hoping we can go there, give a good account of ourselves and um, do, do the travelling fans, which I think we've got a few going, um, do them proud and, and hopefully you never know, see what happens. I mean, is it, is it? Could you have envisaged this when you became manager of Needham Market? I mean, you're, like you had your professional playing career, gone into management, and suddenly here you are again. You know, sort of at the forefront of chats and podcasts, you say, and videos, all to do with your man. You know, your man. What you've done as a manager now, it's it's nice, isn't it? Yes, like last year was was really special. Um, the trophy run, we beat some some big teams in there that that were several leagues above us, uh, and it makes you greedy. You want more. Um, did I think this could happen? Yeah, I did. I did. I've got, look, I believe in the players I've got. It's an unbelievable football club. Um, yes, you need to have a little bit of luck with the draws. We, we got several home draws, which helps. But we also had to beat Maidstone, who, who are a National League team. But I fancied us. We played well on the day and they probably didn't play as well as they could. But I, I thought it was possible. Did I think it was going to happen this season? Maybe not. But other clubs have done it. Sudbury have done it recently. Malden, um, who, who are both below our level, have, have done it twice. So it is doable. Um, but I'm thankful that we have. Like I said, I'm, I'm really proud of the lads, but I'm, I'm loving the fact that they can go and play in a game like this, um, of this magnitude. Um, and it'd be good for certainly the younger players in their careers going forward. You talked about the younger players quite a lot there, Kevin, and quite rightly so, because there's an academy there. A lot of clubs have academies. There's an academy at Needham Market. And it's, it's always difficult for youngsters to come through an academy and into the first team. It's, you've got to be given chances. You've got to have the ability. So Needham have done quite well on that score, haven't you, Kevin? You've got a lot of players who have come through. Yeah, I think half, half the squad is through the academy. Um, some are current, obviously, and some are from the past. But I think it's really important, certainly for non-league clubs, especially. Um, you need to, to breed your own. You, you need to develop them. And you need to be brave enough to give them a chance. So that I'm willing to do. Um, some won't won't get get there straight away. Some will struggle and have to come back out, but some will take to it and, and soar. And we've seen that happen. We've seen it happen. We, we one lad went to Ipswich obviously last year. We've we've got two current scholars that that pro clubs are looking at. So that pathway is really important for me. Um, getting that blend of of young and old is really important as well. They they bring an energy to young players and they play without fear at times. So 
they, they've been brilliant and, it, and it's, it's really the, the mainstay of this football club. The academy is something that we're really proud of and it's important to us. Now, you're playing Burton, League One. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a strong, it's a strong draw for you to have to go somewhere like Burton. You know, any League One club away was going to be strong. I mean, what was your reaction to the draw when you first had it? Have you had them watched since? And how are you feeling now? We've had them watched, yeah. Um, I, I think you get greedy, don't you? You get to the first round and you, you look at the clubs that are in there and you want, for the club, I, I would have liked, a, obviously, a massive payday where you, you've got big clubs in there like Sheffield Wednesday, Derby. Would have been great. But Burton are, are very much, for me, a little bit of a shining light for non-league clubs because they were non-league and yeah. they're now an established League One team, albeit struggling a little bit this season. But non-league clubs like ourselves look up to clubs like that because they've achieved it and, and done it. And so, so it'd be nice to go there and see what that actually looks like. Uh, a tough game. There's, there's no doubt about it. We're obviously massive underdogs. Um, we'll have to be unbelievable on the day. Them have an off day. And you just never know. So we're looking forward to it. No one gives us a chance, so we've got nothing to lose. I mean, that is the thing, isn't it? It really is a free hit. Um, but I mean, you know, should you should you should you manage it? You know, should something manage it? Even just a draw, a draw would be a fantastic result, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah, to get them back 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 here would be yeah. nice. Um, again, if we, if we did manage that, or, or, or even manage, we can dream and manage to win. Then I think um, it would even get more hectic and busy. Um, but it's great for the football club. It's great for people that do so much behind the scenes, the volunteers. It's great for them. So, so it's, it's as much a day for them as, as anybody else, really. So we'll enjoy it as a football club. Um, and yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice to get a result. I mean, you're in management now, Kevin, and obviously you're at Ipswich Town under Joe Royal, was it mostly? Or was it most? Yeah. Ipswich, yeah. yeah, under Joe. I mean, you, so you've played under lots of different managers, not just Joe. I mean, do you take your management style a bit from people who've managed you? Yeah, I, th I think you do. I think you, you take traits that you really liked in managers. Um, and then you don't do the stuff that the managers you didn't like. Um, I, I, I think the biggest thing for me in management is, is, is being honest with players, whether that's what they want to hear or not. You, you just need to be honest and say how it is. I think they can deal with that and appreciate that more. Um, so I think that's, that's the biggest thing I've, I've took into management, just being honest. Now I've heard on the day on the day you got to travel up on the day, haven't you? You can't you can't. There's no overnight stay, unfortunately. But no. oh, I don't know who you are. Or you're going to the our normal way trips in the in the division we're in. We we're often in Birmingham. Yeah. Um, so it's it's no different in in that respect. But the only difference being we will stop for a bit of food, bit of pre match, um, which we did in the trophy games down at Yeovil last last season. So yeah, it'd be it'd be a little bit different, but but not too different. Have you noticed the players? I mean, how much they are building up for this? Is there a little must be a sense of excitement now starting to build among them? Because as you say, we're only a couple of days away now. Yeah, I feel, well, we trained tomorrow night, so there is a little bit of a buzz. There's there's been TV crews here that they're back here tomorrow wanting to do interviews with players. So the, the lads will start feeling the buzz now and and maybe getting a little bit nervous, which I don't mind because I think that's important to have have, have few nerves because it gives you that edge. But as long as they manage them and, and it don't get too 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 much because um, that can then ruin your performance. I, I, and that's my job. That's my job. And, and, and Tom, obviously, is, is to, to alleviate all that pressure and nerves and, and, and give them the freedom to go and play and be themselves and, and be in the moment um, because that's what's, that's what's got me. And quite honestly, and you're quite a young team, aren't you? I mean, you've got some, you've got some experienced players. Mark's gone, the goalie, for instance, very, it's got a, far, a fine, experienced goalkeeper. But I mean, you've got quite a young, quite, quite a young squad, really. In, in, you know, for, for, for the for the level of football that you play on a regular basis. Yeah, we, we've got quite a good blend, actually. We, we like I say, we have got um, some older heads in there that have played at this football club a long time and a couple of levels higher. And then we've got the younger players that have come through our academy and, and some that have been at pro clubs that are wanting to bounce back. And it's about giving them. That, that pathway, that platform to do that. Um, so, so the blend is quite good. We've got match winners on our day. We're, we're, we're dangerous going forward. We've got um, willing runners. We've got pace. We've got goals. So you never know. You can dream. If we can keep them out long enough and, and, and then maybe snatch a goal, that would be nice. That would be ideal, I think. I was going to say, what is your, I mean, obviously a perfect scenario is just to win, but I mean, what, what, what would Kevin Horlock consider like, you know, a, good, a good day, become five o'clock at, at Burton on Saturday afternoon? I think I just want the players to go there and play with freedom and, and, and give a good account of themselves. I think that that's that's my main thing. But obviously, you get greedy and probably the night before, I think, oh, could we? Would we? Yeah, you start dreaming, don't you? You start 
more you get greedy you get greedy and you want to be in the second round and then another big tie and then possibly on tv oh I, I want it for the lads and like i said the people at the football club i want the lads to to experience that and and see what that looks like so an ideal day would be a good account of ourselves where we can come away with our heads held high but the dream inside of me says can we nick a result and i suppose you know at the end of the day burton are bottom of league one they're still a fantastic side you know with, with you know they're still a fantastic side. but bottom of league one i suppose you half sort of hope they've got bigger fish to worry about with their league position rather than cup matches but no one wants to really lose to a non-league side i suppose kevin and you know no, but it's, it's, it's a good call for them i suppose that, that they've, they've got a team at home from from step three it's, it's a good draw for them but it could also be a, a banana skin because we've seen it so often in the fa cup where upsets happen um, and there's been bigger ones than this so um i'm sure i'm sure they're gold guns blazing like I say they've, they've not had, had that good a season in the league so far so it'd be massively important that they progress so i don't imagine them going very weak i may be wrong we'll see but all i will know is that, that our lads will be prepared, that they know exactly what to expect and we will go up there, give it everything, hopefully enjoy it. Um, if we get a result, we'll enjoy it even more. And finally, Kevin, I'd like Kevin Horlock will be standing in the dressing room at five to three. His boys will be about to go out. What will be your final words, Kevin? Go and enjoy it. Go and enjoy it. Don't play in fear. Um, play the game, not the occasion. Simple as that. I've got a good, good players. I've got a good team and um, I just want to go out there and play with freedom and enjoy it, work hard, and you just never know what can happen. Kevin, thanks ever so much. And look, for everybody at Kings Vang and everybody, of course, in Suffolk football, and for the best of luck to Needham Market. I mean, it'd be what a, what, a, what a terrific occasion it would be if, if you get a result of a replay even back at Bloomfield to be fantastic. That would be nice. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you.